G'day, and welcome to Open Bar the Branches. I'm just doing a little bit of a walk around the back blocks of my um, my local area. These are the fire trails. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoy. So I'm just walking down the back of my house and my local area today on the local fire trail. You can see the houses are just up there. So, um, yeah, it's not a bad spot. A few people get down here with their dogs and mountain bike riding and whatnot, but I haven't been down here for a while. So, um, yeah, I'm planning to do a few trips. I've got two weeks off. I was planning to do a big camping trip, but that's been obviously postponed because of this. Uh, coronavirus so I'm going to try and get out and about and do a few um, a few walks around the local area and and that I think at the moment national parks are allowing you to go walking in the parks you can't camp in there or go to the major touristy spots down through there so um yeah so I'm hopefully get down and I'll show you a few, a few of my favourite little walks I can do around my local area and my, my local national park which is the Royal National Park and the Hipcat National Park this area here, I think it's just Crown Land. So this is just one of the local fire trails. And this network of fire trails go all the way through Moranora, um, all the way to the back of Ingadine. Obviously, Loftus here. And um, yeah, you can go all the way to Hedge. I've got all the way to Waterfall for really one or two, but it's a long way. But um, yeah, there's a bit of a creek running through there. We've had a bit of rain lately, so. Probably can't see it, but hopefully be able to hear it. Yeah, it's been, been raining here for the last few days, and tomorrow's supposed to be a big one, so um, I might even try and do a walk down to one of the local waterfalls to see. Um, yeah, I've just finished up work for two. I've got long service leave, so and yeah, I worked last night, and there was you, God, there's nobody around. It was just really um really quiet so hopefully um some of the walking trails will be quiet too but yeah there yeah, let's tap my dog down here we so um fortunately passed away just after christmas um but we used to come down here a bit there's a good little swimming hole he used to love jumping into down here so yeah a bit a bit sad to be walking down through for the first time but Anyway, yeah, there's part of the creek there. Yeah. yeah, it's a lovely little spot. So close to home. Pretty hilly though. So I, up that way is towards the houses. So I've got to climb back up that hill to get to the houses. Bit of an overgrown tree here. What's happening here? Falling down. Yeah, so just down here somewhere I think it was. Yeah, just down here it is. We used to go, um, little Pluto Pop used to go for a swim. Yeah, used to love it down through there. Not really supposed to, to um, let them off loose off their, off their lead, but yeah, really, <laughs> there's nothing nothing much to get themselves into trouble with. And Pluto was a good dog. He never used to run the real far and come back when I asked him to come back. Yeah, we used to get them in here. Let's have a look, eh? Was all, always worried about them getting bitten by a snake down in here, like a blackie or something. So this keeps to come bolting into here. And straight into this pool. They used to go swimming in that pool there. And come down, sometimes it's laying in all the way through here. Very nice spot. A bit cloud of the water. I thought it'd be washed out by now, but obviously not. It's still 
a bit cloudy. There. So we come to the first intersection. So we come down the Cranberry um, Fire Trail, which is Cranberry Street, and Via Burnham, up that way. That's up towards my house. That's straight uphill. But we're not going that way. We're gonna head down this way. So, yeah, straight down. Yeah, so I know I have to walk all the way back up this stuff, but I'm thinking about, I might go all the way to Ingerdeen. Then come back through the just through the back street of Ingerdeen. Not as exciting, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's still uphill. Still got to walk up out of the gully. With the way you go about it. But see how we go. But anyway, it's a bit of a creek. I think it's Loftus Creek. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it is. It's down here. So I'm interested to see how that's flowing. The last time I was here was Beaudry, no water. But man, that was before we had all the rains. And I've been down here when it's been, you can't even cross it. So, so anyway, we'll see how we go. All right. I'm gonna get in and show that a little bit of a, maybe there's people down here. And a dog. This is Loftus Creek. So that's the fire trail down the Loftus Creek fire trail. So that way it goes around the back of Ingerdean. Warren Oil. So I'm going to head towards Heathcote. Alright, that's so the way I'll be going. Goes up that way. Hopefully better get across because it crosses over the creek a few times along here. And they're like little causeways, they're all concrete, but um they can be slippery and ankle deep. Oh that looks alright, that looks nothing. And somebody even put some rocks out so it can cross over. Which, oh, I'm not going to worry about the rocks. They'll probably just rock and roll on them feet anyway. Mm. These shoes are pretty much waterproof. In that sort of water, so. Yeah, that's the spot. <laughs> if you come down from here and play about it. You should jump in here, quick jump in this one. Have a swim in here. And jump back out. And there's another one up here to jump in as well. got some footage of him doing that so I might I'll chuck that in I think I'll see if I can find that footage and put it on here I used to jump in there too. Jump in there a little bit. A dip and put down. Running quite well. Yeah, so this drop, this oh, doesn't really dry right up, it just stops flowing and then becomes all pools through here. 
but um, yeah. So these are the creeks that um, come out of people's backyards and stuff, so that's why it should be, you know, be careful what you, you put on your gardens and stuff, because this is where it ends up. And this goes all the way down onto the Warrenor River, on, into the Georges River, out in the Botany Bay, and then into the ocean. There you go. There we go. So Loftus Creek fire trail continues up there. And that goes up towards Dober Road, heading it in. So I'm not heading that. I'm going to go up towards Yarrawarra, I've decided. Torella um, fire trail. So I'm going to go up that way and then walk back from Yarrawarra back to Loftus. Had a little bit of rain, spots of rain in it, so. Looks very dark and glummy up here. So I have to push my luck, so yeah, this fight trial doesn't go very much further at all. Like I've only done this is this is a very short trip. So I've only done three Ks to get to here. And there's probably only about probably another two and a half Ks. Maybe three Ks to get back to home. So it's only a six hour, no six kilometer walk. But that's good to get out of the house. <laughs> Nice. That big old thing. Nice. So from here on in, it's all uphill. Time to get the heart rate up. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I they're doing something down here. They just look like dirt that they've pulled out of somewhere. It doesn't look like any anything else. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, just about at the end. So, I hope you enjoy this little, through, um, little trip from my local neighbourhood, I suppose. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to try and get into the National Park in the next coming days and do some... Um, Get into Yulula Falls, look at the waterfall down there, and um, see how that's running. Maybe into Carly Pools as well. So, yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching. Be safe.